Welcome back to B D D D E, where we like to waste money and have fun. Um, I am tired as all bloody hell. I've uh, been on night shift over Easter. Uh, I'm recording this on Easter Sunday night ish. Just finished hot cross bun. Got to enjoy those hot cross buns while we can. Um, they are absolutely delicious with a nice bit of butter. Microwaved. Um, there I should have kept one for those that are not. I'm familiar with it, but yeah, um, lots of things been happening, right? So, uh, we'll have a talk about that while we open some cards as well. Um, if I can remember it all, because again, I'm tired, but not too tired to have a drink. This is a, uh, what did I grab? A mead. Grabbed, uh, some local mead. Here, yep, it's actually quite nice. It's quite good, actually. Very refreshing. Bit of ice, love it. Anyway, let's go to overhead. Ooh, overhead camera. All right, let's rip into this. And no, I don't have a spare box again. I, I threw it out. It's been a week. That's just because I've been. Like working like crazy. Finally, I'm gonna get hopefully an unlike uh, being on night shift really is hard because uh, yeah, um, other people in the house still need to wake up at all times, and uh, then there's no blinds in the bedroom. That's really sucks. Really, really sucks. Anyway, so some of the things happening. Um, obviously, we have some. Cards banned, so I'm just going to bring up the article, because I know I had it. So, uh, Classic Constructed, Berserk banned. Just like, no, banning this card before it's a problem. Um, they also banned uh, Berserk in Blitz, as well as CC. Uh, so they're doing it as a preemptive thing, so that way they can design cards in the future. They, just, they figured that this, it wouldn't matter so much, because they figured that the... Um, method that uh, KO would take at the moment would be uh, away from Berserk anyway for the most part. So they figured it doesn't matter right now is what the article says. And then afterwards they went and um, but they don't want to be restricted by the Berserk and they consider it a mistake in their design process because they don't want to have to build always build around the one bloody card. Uh, and just prevent other uh, possible uh, designs. Fatal, Stonewall, uh, Rising Energy. So that's a fair call. Uh, they've also decided to just go ahead and get rid of Crown of Seeds for a similar reason. Um, let me have a crack bubble. If I could get this pack open. Damn it. No, it's this entire server. Alright, we'll put that aside. We have Reinforced the Land. We have Boast. I don't care about it. Ooh. Uh, Reckless Charge. Ring before Majestic. Not bad. It's a nice hit. Nice little hit there, Sunny Jims. Sunny Jims, he says. So, uh, yes, Sunny Jims. So, we've got that. It's not a battle hit. Uh, we're obviously... Um, I bought most of the young heroes that I need. I just need an adult... Uh, of Kasai, Betsy, and Ko now, I believe. And a Fable, and then the set is collected. Um, but that's just me. Cut the deck. Uh, Beast Mode, Pound Town for the foil. And we already have an um, Ancestral Harmony. I wonder if it'll work with the new ninja sets. That'll be cool. Um, yeah, so... They figured, because they didn't really like how it worked with the um, Crown of Seeds, uh, with um, Old Him just being able to go meh, and just be a super, like, gnaw everything, non-interactive deck, so they've decided they don't want to have let that happen, and they're going to get rid of it, so Future Earth, they can design the way they want, rather than having to worry about how that interacts with the other cards and prevents stuff. Rising Energy, we don't have anything else there. So that's what they've gone with that, and um, 
obviously uh, one of my favourite um, heroes is three. I uh, won the uh, Pro Tour. Um, it's good to see that she, but that's not her send off sadly because she's now three points short. We have Fatal Engagement, Shift the Tides of Battle, uh, Cut the Deck. This is our Rainbow Foil. So that's good. Um, so that means I could play it one or two more times and then she'll get banned. Uh, well, LL'd and then she'll not be relevant for ages. Stacked, she'll be in Blitz. Take uh, the upper hand. We have Rawhide Rumble for our little thing there. Um, obviously, uh, I've gotten a little further along with our... Uh, with what's the name? Uh, the new set... Uh, a few more cards have been uh, seen released, um, mainly because of uh, like LPG and places like that. They've put up some of their pre-release stuff, and then they've not realised it, but put up stuff. We've got meat axes, and we have a vigorous engagement for our rainbow fall. So um, one interesting thing is is that they haven't really told us what it is, but there is at least one. Legendary um, and Marvel that will only be available in the Japanese prints. Uh, maybe that's a mask of uh, momentum and that'll have a Marvel form. A cold foil and a Marvel form. Clash of Might in the Japanese form. Uh, hard to block and a wallop. Wallopy. Um, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Who knows? Um, the reason why they might do that is because obviously being a very limited set to get a cold full of that might be nice for the Japanese to be able to have something like that. But I imagine it's going to be a decently expensive card because if it's good, is that because everyone's going to want a copy? Uh, good time, Shaputne. Uh, Wager Gold. We have the Agile Engagement. Nothing interesting there. So uh, I decided to finally book my tickets. Um. Now, because the information still isn't quite clear what's going on, and so trying to open up product, um, event details, yes, I think this is the one, yes, this is the link I want, actually I already saved it and I just was lazy and wasn't thinking, that's how tired I am. So, um, with the Premiere stuff, you've got um, what you've got available for the tickets. You've obviously got a Fable one that gets you a three different promos and a playmat and a bunch of, and one Fable voucher, but you've got to pre-book what you're going to be in. Wait, that's not. Uh, draw Swords, it's just crap. Um, I keep forgetting that there's a sideways card at the back that is not a landmark. Um... And so I've gone ahead and bought the Fable main pen. You can buy the Go Again stuff, but we don't care about that. Um, the World Premiere. Uh, the World Premiere, you get uh, the entry of the World Premiere, and you've got to choose English or Japanese beforehand. Um, that's fine. But you then need to... Uh, you get only two promo cards and the playmat. Uh, you can also pay for the calling. They've already put up uh, the image of Nu as the cold foil. I can't tell if it's the adult or if it's the thing, but I'm, it's either rainbow foil or cold foil promo. You can't tell and they haven't explained, but they put actual image up on the website now. Um, Commander Spect. Uh, Kasai. Hopefully that means we're going to get our fable, and, uh, our full art. That'd be lovely. Uh, because, yeah, I need that. I don't want to spend another 400 bucks. That'd be a nice little end to this particular set for me, opening. Um, so, yeah. Um, I've went and bought the Fable. Because th I'm pretty sure they're going to have... It's only one playmat for the entire event, I th uh, from what I can tell. Uh, but that may change. Who knows? Because there's no mat for the Battle Hardened. Um, there's also uh, events you can go to to get Oasis Respites. Um, uh, Wall of Meat and Muscle. Sorry, Rawhide. And there's just a new thing that I've just noticed uh, come out on there. 
At the bottom of there, uh, participants in any of the following events and receive an extended art uh, foil oasis respite promo card. Um, you can on Friday go to a 2 p.m. Uh, session, uh, Oasis, you just enter it, you'll get the card, um, and it's a WTR qualifier, so that's probably the WTR, the Welcome to Wraith first edition um, event. If you win that, you'll get into the big, uh, you'll get into uh, draft uh, first edition, rather less, uh, from what I could tell, and if it's the same as everywhere else. Money where your mouth is, what obviously means you can get a pretty cool card out of that if you get lucky. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't get it. I'm not that lucky. There's Saturday, there's a 5.30, and Sunday, a 5.30. Um, they're all the double prize, um, events. And so they would be a silver entry, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's something I just saw. I've never seen it before. So, you know, that's news to me. Smack reality, edge ahead. Ah... We got a fade, but I just bought one. Ah, sad face, but that's still good. We got one. Oh, I was hoping it'd be an adult. It's not an adult. I had to spend about $85. Maybe less. Ah, such is life. Such is life. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'll be lucky and there's a double marble in there and I want my other boxes, I'll get another marble. Um, still, that's cool. That's cool. Um, that means uh, it's not my the adult that I wanted, but that's just how that is. I'm probably just going to buy it now because obviously I'm at the point where I'm getting titled Fatal Engagement. We've got two more boxes, of course, for this one, because I have been slow in opening the boxes, because mainly because of the work the past week. I've just been so damn tired. Did not have time for it. Um, I just was not even thinking about it. Cut the deck over the top, stacked in your favor, and we don't even care. Yeah, so that's cool. I'm going to have to um, register for those events. After we finish with this, uh let's close that because I'll, I'll just double down from majestic edge swift blade and get some tokens go over there still i'm like hey it's better than getting a common any day of the week i'll take that because i can always it can always be sold it can always be given away and someone would be happy to have it where a common call for you everyone's like you you brother what's that ew uh Edge of wind up and nothing else in the back. That's pretty cool. Because the Oasis Respite, it looks pretty cool. It's obviously an alternate art to the um, original form uh, Uprising. And we have Ripple Away. That's uh, Aegis wind up. Another little majestic. We've got the eight packs left. We'll do it. finish off the left side of the box first. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Ah, uh, Monstrous Veil. Down but not out. Ah, oh, we got a Rainbow Fall Tenacity. Better put that in a uh, sleeve as well, because it is Rainbow Fall. That'll probably just go into my collection. Uh, go into the uh, collection of cards of what if I actually one day want to use them? Clash, call, mighty wind up, nothing left. Uh, but yeah, so, um, sorry, back to what I was actually saying before that. Uh, so I booked a, um, the Fable event. <clears throat> um, maybe regret that now. Um, mainly because of these other events, because I'm pretty sure they're silver and I could use my silver ticket to get into them. Or you can pre-register. Um, but anyway, um, and I put the entry for the calling. And if that means they get two of her in Rainbow Foil, that's fine. I'm sure someone back here in Sydney will want one. So it's not the end of the world on that note. Because I did need... Because the Fable only gives you one entry to one event. Either the um, World Premiere event. Or into the calling. Or into the Battle Hard. Whatever you prefer. Lead with power. Um, 
whatever you really prefer ultimately. But so that's why I've gone that way instead of having instead of booking because then maybe there's one extra promo out there. Maybe there's not. I don't know. It's just not giving the information. I assume that the third, the difference between the third promo, um, between the third promo between uh, the Fable main of uh, package and the world premiere, the one difference is not. Um, the uh, hero that you're going to get from uh, Tokyo Calling. The main reason why, because it doesn't show it up there, that they haven't inserted one image. But that may just because they only have the image of three cards and they're too lazy to do it. Don't know. We'll find out when time gets closer. Eee, it's not a bad box. I mean, this is a terrible card for me to pull, but it's a good box. I mean, if this has been spoils, um, that'd be pretty fucking insane. Um, but that's all right. Uh, we got an, a legendary and a f and a fable. That's pretty good. Uh, fable, marble. I mean, marble, Mar marble, marble, marble. Marble's a stone. Come on, use words correctly. Um, obviously, there's cosplay going on. But that's quite an interesting new event. Um, anyway, uh, I wonder if anyone else has noticed that one. Or it's just me that's done it because I've been doing this live. Anyway, that's all the time before we've got in this episode of B D D E. And happy Easter to you all. See ya. Bye.